Today I'm going over optimizing Apache memory usage on your server. So a lot of people run and host their own website through, you know, EC2 or micro instances in Google Cloud. And if you don't optimize these, a lot of times as soon as you get any kind of traffic, your site will go down or you'll have extremely long load times as your memory maxes out and basically crashes a lot of these Apache instances. So uh, I have a web server, Christitis is running on uh, Google Cloud, and that's a one dedicated CPU with about four gigs of memory. And that's running directly on an Ubuntu instance, so it's just Ubuntu server, no GUI or anything like that. So I can do quite a bit with that in uh, Apache. First off, I wanted to differentiate uh, where this is in 2009 and some of the earlier Apache iterations everything was in an HTTP uh, comp file in the ETC folder so if you go to the Apache uh, directory you'll see that HTTP is actually apache2.conf and just to show you what that looks like now um, they've kind of broken it out and if you read the documentation here there's the apache2.conf modules, which is a really important thing uh, to consider, is under mods-enabled. And there's one specific module that holds basically how much memory Apache will use on each launch. Of, so if a visitor hits your site, it's going to have an Apache 2 instance. And if you get multiple visitors, it's going to spin up more or spool up more. And you want to make sure that you want to have the correct amount running at all times and to tell basically Apache to optimize that so if it starts get too much it will actually not launch anymore crashing the server so it's really important you get that right and by default it's going to have a module called npm prefork and that prefork is a single thread uh, optimate memory optimization module basically for Apache there's another one called npm workers you won't get into that that's mainly for big servers that have uh, like quad cores and up a dedicated just for web browsing so if you're ever getting into a website that has a million visitors per day or something crazy that's what's gonna happen it's gonna have not just one but just a huge amount of allocated servers just for that and it's not gonna be using the preforic module but uh, for most websites, it will be pre so that's what we're going to focus on today. And I just kind of want to show you this basic configuration uh, off the get-go. There's not much in here you're actually going to be configuring. Um, most of it is done on the mods directory. So with that said, I'm going to exit out, and we're going to go into mods-enabled. And you'll see these are all the modules I actually have enabled on this server. And the one we want is the pre -fork. So we're going to pre-fork. And from here, you'll see basically my already optimized settings. Uh, I wanted to kind of go over these. Start servers, usually these are set at 3, 2, or 1. If you're on a micro instance, set it at 1. And if you're uh, also on a micro instance, you want to set this down to 2 probably for spare servers as well. Uh, because you're not going to have much memory to play with. You're only going to have about five or 600 megs worth of memory, and most of that's going to be chomped up by system processes. And then your max clients and request servers and server limit for today, I'm going to tell you basically treat them all the same because on a single thread, all these values should pretty much be exactly the same and max connections per child, you can leave it at zero or just a really large number. Basically, I set it at 2,000 to say if there's a runaway process and it starts spawning tons of other processes and it gets up to 2,000, just go ahead and shut it down. Um, it probably will never hit that, so honestly, leaving it at zero would be fine. Putting it to 2,000, also fine, uh, just as a precaution. Okay, now with that said, let's go ahead and move into actually finding those values for your server. So you can do a uh, top or H top. I like the, the graphic representation. So I, I do H top. If you don't have it enabled, go ahead and uh, install that using like an apt get or a yum install. So uh, we're going to go ahead and launch H top. 
and you're gonna see right here I'm using about 526 megs of memory I have about 3.1 free or 3.1 gigs free on this server so I have quite a bit of room to grow and we're gonna go ahead and quit out of here just to kind of give a baseline and here is a, a basically a command to grab how much your Apache instance is using this is really important because we need it in our calculations you'll see here it currently has eight processes running and each one of those processes is using about 71 megs which is pretty high and the reason why that's so high is because all the modules I have loaded now if you don't need all those modules shut them down and you'll actually reduce the footprint for each running Apache process and I'll probably actually make another video showing that process because I do need to cull that down to make this more efficient so we take that number um, and you basically times it by how many of your server limit max max clients or request workers that you're gonna want these are basically effectively your server processes that are running and how much memory you have free so I've calculated it was actually 68 when I did it earlier I'll go ahead and do a fresh fresh run but at 68 megs per Apache process I can do about 45 processes before I start to run low on memory so I want to set my upper limit for my server limit uh, my max clients and request workers all about 45 that'll tell the server hey you're getting close to running out of memory and go ahead and start shutting down old processes and launching new ones until uh, you know you get less traffic obviously if you're constantly pinging this out and you're going and running your H top or your top and you're seeing that your free memory is always almost nothing you need to upgrade your instance and go either multi-thread if your CPU is pegged or uh, get more memory okay now that we have everything configured in Apache all you have to do to apply the settings is simply restart the module so we're gonna go ahead sudo Apache 2 restart and with that restarted it goes ahead and pulls all your configuration changes relaunches all your modules and uh, we'll go ahead and pull the top it takes a little bit to spool them up. Um, the very first visitor will see a little bit of a delay. So let's go ahead and hit my website. I'll start it up pretty quick. And uh, that's it for actually optimizing Apache in your instance. 